Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Hello, everyone. My name is Tony Busby. I'm a lawyer here in Houston. I'm licensed in Texas and in New York. And I'll introduce other members of our team as they speak. As many of you know, our law firm has been at the forefront of some of the most important litigation in the United States. We like the tough cases. We thrive in the complicated cases. We've handled over the last 25 years some very big and very important cases. Come forward. If you have evidence, please come forward. I think, I think uh, that was instrumental in, in what we're seeing now. Ever since, I mean, in 24 hours, we've received 12,000 calls, if you can believe that. Um, now, I don't know what, if that's going to 12,000 calls. Yes, sir. You said 12,000 12, calls. You received 12,000 calls. Now that doesn't mean 12,000 people who claim to be victimized. It just means 12,000 people have called this line that we published yesterday. And obviously, as you know, uh, there's going to be people right. that crank calls and people that with foolishness and people with you know, malcontent, but, but we are sifting through mm -hmm. that and trying to, you know, make sure that we identify and vet people that, that have real claims, legitimate, credible claims. Um, wow. Wow. Hey, man, guys, thank you for liking, subscribing to the channel. Um, man, listen, man, Tony Busby uh, was on the Stephen A. Smith show this morning. And I, I, I just had to say, man, what is going on? All of a sudden, he's uh, basically, uh, he's opened up a case. He came out with a press conference yesterday saying that he'll be taking anybody's uh, accusation against the Diddy situation. He talks about his law firm and it's just, he's out of Houston, Texas, man. And so I called OG Piru, Ayatollah Mar, what's going on, man? What's happening with it, man? They got these Amalance chasers, man. It's it's uh, America's a cold place to be, bro. Well, I'm man. trying to understand. Did you understand what was going on with this? Uh, I'm trying to understand. Was uh, he just come out of nowhere? Is there? A, uh, it's, it's talking about a lot of people, over twelve thousand, and all kind of calls coming in. Like what? And we don't know if they the real, you know, people who. D accused Diddy, but they're just is is this a witch hunt? What do we have going on here with Tony Busby? Yeah, yeah, you have another uh, 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 Winston Salem, a real witch hunt. I mean, and the allegations are I, I don't see where even if he said a freak off. Okay, you're you're emphasizing a freak off. It's it's nothing in this closed indictment that says Mr. Combs has ever taken anyone himself and brought them back with false imprisonment. And this is what the allegation, if I had sent for you, they didn't say, before you're talking about a freak off, white America's been having what they call swinger parties since Adam and Eve. Huh. We, we ain't going and digging up uh, um, Hugh Hefner and the freak offs that he had at the Playboy Mansion, uh, we're not digging up Liberace, a known homosexual that had that his his driver was given palimony, the first case of palimony in California for having homosexual uh, uh, activities. So when we start charging, let's go back to the real reason how all this started. If you if you went to a freak off and, and some of them were uh, minors, how would you know? You know, we hold us at such a high esteem. I'm, I'm not trying to justify nothing for Puffy, but this Busby, he sounds like a cartoon character. He's coming up witch hunting. You know, he's like this broad Gloria Aldridge, always coming up and playing on people's emotion. Now, I, I see, well, uh, uh, Leo Cohen need to be indicted. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, uh, Jimmy Iovine. Well, uh, let's, let's get with the people. That, that's really behind this, you know? Well, is this a money grab? I mean, uh, he's got all of these uh, alleged victims. That, uh, he opened up a hotline of some sort, allegedly, 
to where you can call, you know, and, and if you feel like you was an accused, if you was at a venue that, that let this happen, if you was at a hotel uh, that let this happen, if you were anywhere and this type of thing went on when Diddy was involved, he wants you to reach out and call him. Um, Stephen A. takes Stephen A. Smith uh, uh, brings him on the show this morning, uh, pretty much let him say his piece. Uh, he's he's basically practicing law uh, in different states. He's based out of Houston, Texas, man. Like, is this a money grab or, or is this legit? Well, uh, this um, Stephen A. Smith, ain't he supposed to be a sports announcer? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, these desperate Negroes, it, it really kills me when, you know, you run out, you, you're, you're not a good sports uh, announcer, so you're not on top of your game. So now you go over to trying to slander some, don't you got some white people that you could be interviewing on something uh, in the sports arena? <laughs> why, are, why are you, you know, we always disseminate the bad information against each other. Now you done got a white man on here. And now you're worried about he was probably at a couple of the parties himself with his money looking <laughs> stuff. So Steven, <laughs> yourself. Man, well I just like I said, I wanted to basically just see what Tony Busby, uh, the attorney out of Texas, it has to do with a case that's pending out of New York and why he was so aggressive t enough to have a press conference yesterday about it. What made him come out with a press conference? Letting everybody know he's these ambulance chasers. The uh, balls talk. These ambulance chasers. The they know how to predicate things to make to get the while well, the temperatures high on a certain case. Now he just went and made him a hotline for everybody want a tattletale. But don't in America don't we have a statute of limitations? Yes, you, I'm definitely got that. But it's like. What is he planning to accomplish? He feel like he's going to make him some a pretty good amount of money off of doing these cases, or do you think he really care about the people? He's going to make some money. He's going to make some money off of. It. Didn't nobody even know Tony Busby before today? Huh? You didn't just gave him uh, some more uh, what, what they call it co commercial credit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't definitely gave him a shout out by even doing didn't, this interview. Didn't, know, don't, didn't nobody know Tony Busby's name before before the other day, huh? So Tony Busby is basically uh, trying to get them numbers up. He man, he's trying to get his 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 firm. Him and his his partner's name is Van Adel. Okay. Um, the a AVA law firm, and they ambulance chaser. I've been arrested three times in Texas, and they never called him to help me out. <laughs> no buzz. Well, man, thank you, man. I wanted you. I just wanted to hear your insight on this, man. Uh, man, this is this is. I'm, I'm saying that. P. Diddy, what P. Diddy did is he was not alone in doing it, and he didn't think of doing it himself. Let's go behind where the real industry, that corporate, there must be said something else that people were behind it. But we'll say people are behind it, but we'll never accuse white America for what they're saying. Just like Bill Cosby went to prison for allegedly giving a girl, a, giving some people a pill, right? Yeah. But nobody ever said anything about the allegation where when he first got the pill, he got it from Hugh Hefner. And Hugh Hefner said, here, we give them these pills and their leg openers. Nobody ever indicted Hugh Hefner. Man, and, 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 and he talked about some type of horse tranquilizers on that video. I just uh, Yeah, horse, horse, elephant, uh, so horse tranquilizer. How he know? Man, I don't know. It, 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 he, he, it, everybody was, okay, everybody spikes drinks. You know, they, they do it in the hood all the time. So uh, you shouldn't be drinking if you don't know what the hell you're drinking. Wow, man. Hey, man, get in get in the comments. Let us know, man. OG Piru, Ayatollah Marv, he pretty much uh, calls this a, a witch hunt. Pretty much, the, it, it, do you feel like... T uh, this attorney Tony Busby is on a witch hunt, a money grab, or do you feel like he got the best interest of the people that he's trying to represent? Get in the comments. Let us know, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Boss Talk 101. What a Boss's Talk review. Boss's Talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.